Hi guys, welcome to the video. So uh, I'm in an E93, but it's the same as the other E90s. Gonna do the um, sat nav upgrade. Bought this for a good price on eBay. Um, I'll put a screenshot up of it so you can see what I paid for it. Um, doesn't seem very deep. Uh, looking on the back of it, it's um, yeah, very very small. So um, a shed load of cables with it. Uh, with the kit as well to obviously drop down the um, fan control and AC. So we've got a couple of different brackets there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I believe so far all we really need is uh, trim tools, as I have here, and a couple of different Phillips screwdrivers to start off with. Um, so we're going to remove the, um, the fan first, get access to the other screws. Uh, normally just prising in the side there so I will try and do that in front of you guys <coughs> oh, that one's a bit too flexible obviously be careful of your trim when you're doing this ah, there you go that's easy same the other side that's quite good so yeah you can pull that out of your fingers now And obviously disconnect the uh, cables behind it. So, so you just push down on the top there and then that comes down. Same on the other side, which I'll put the camera down, do that, remove this. And then we've got, looks like, four screws. Uh, actually, it looks like a Torx in there. Um, or a hex, I'll find out and let you know. Uh, but to remove the stereo, there's two Phillips. One there and one the other side. So we'll take them out and disconnect that and then remove this. So obviously make sure you reject any CDs you might have left in there, as I normally do, just like that. So take them out before you disconnect. So only two cables to remove from the head unit. So you've got this big black one, big black one here with the uh, bit that just folds back down and comes out and obviously your aerial. So my preference at this stage, I've disconnected the harness uh, straight in there for the new stereo and it did have a adapter for the aerial. So I'm gonna plug that in and just test it just to make it all working first before I start. Okay, so I've got the power cable in the back there, nice and careful with that. Um, and obviously that's plugged in for the antenna for the radio. So let's just move it there, put the key in. All right, okay, so it's lit up. It's a good start. Might as well try the radio, I guess. Um, TFM. You know that as well. 106. Ah. There we go. Disco. Sorry about the sunlight. But yeah, it's working. So, right, I'll disconnect it and now we'll take out that nasty plastic frame. Okay, so it's a H3 bit that I'm using for these screws times four. Uh, fortunately, they're loose enough just to do by hand because I forgot my bloody ratchet. So, we've got all four of them. Obviously, need to come out. If you've got a gun, it's going to be quicker. Right, so I get those out, and, then and finally, it will come out with a little bit of jiggling. So, you've got that bit there. Jesus, what a mess it is, isn't it? Right, storage space, look. Wow, huge. So, I've secured the plate in. Uh, you can see which way round it is, and I used two of the original screws, one each side there, uh, so it's nice and secure. Okay, so removing this was a little bit of a pain, it's quite fiddly. Um, basically you've got these tabs, uh, there's four of them, so you've got to push down on them with a screwdriver in the middle, and then they just uh, slide out of these gaps. So you've got two on the top, there's a little one in the middle, and then 
uh, one inch end on the bottom. Then you got this new one, uh, which I'm guessing is going to go this way up to make that look neat. Yeah, it looks like that, doesn't it? Wow, an easy bit. So that was just clicks in, nice. And then obviously you got these little side bits. Looks like they're gonna fit in the gaps each side. So I'm gonna put the cables in, put that in. And then the long screws that I said about earlier in the bag, looks like I'm gonna have to use those because there's uh, these little uh, grommets or covers. Um, you gotta remove those and then the long screws are for them to secure the head unit into here and here. Okay, yeah, the cables are in for the control panel. Um, and then you've got your two grooves each side, they just sort of line in place. Uh, I'll fit that in nicely in a second. Cables to go in the head unit and the aerial, and don't forget your GPS. So a slight problem with the fitment of this panel. Uh, this bit sticking out here. I uh, don't really want to cut it, but may have to so it fits in nice and flush. Because um, obviously it used to be up there, and you can see that this tapers in, so it's getting squashed. So, um, yeah, have a little think on that one, see what other people do. Um, yeah, go from there. So, to get these little plugs out, which are in there, I'll just use the screw and uh, just pushed it through. See, don't forget your mic. Uh, I nearly did. Where is it? So there you go. Get that in somewhere. So yeah, it was another bunch of cables. So you've got to plug this one in with all these other leads on, auxiliary and everything else. And then you've got one with mic on it. So then the mic is then plugged in. What fun and games. Okay, so we're in. Decided to put the mic here for now, uh, just temporary. Um, so caps are back in. It's secure. So now I've just got to jiggle this in somehow. Um, it's going to take a little bit of rework, I think, to get it fitting tidy first, don't we? So <clears throat> after all that, so let's give it a little test. Probably because I put the uh, the GPS in it, so it's going to take a little bit longer. But we can see it's working. It's got Bluetooth on. Uh, yeah, happy days. So yeah, a little bit of rework for that, and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know the um, the details. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel.